Hey everybody, this is Lori. So you guys, today I am going to quickly share with you uh, my projects for three swaps that I'm currently in. Um, I'm in a journal prompt card swap over at my scrap room and I am also in a stick pin swap and the um, embellishment grab bag swap. Both of those are at your paper pantry. So before I mail all this today, um, I'm going to share with you what I made. So let me start with the journal prompt cards. Um, this was my first time ever making them. And uh, the theme was a shabby chic, you know, pink, red colors for uh, not really Valentine's Day, but they said shabby chic journal prompt card. And what it is, um, you need to take a playing card like this and cover it and uh, on the front you need to have your question that prompts the um, you know the person the recipient to put the answer on the back so this is my card and uh, I use for the um, the paper I use the Prima Sweet Fairy so this is my card and it says, my question or prompt was, um, you can't have everything, where would you put it? So, and I just uh, put a little spot on the, to back, on the back for them, you know, to say whatever they want to say. You know, obviously, yes, you can't have everything, but what would you like to have? <laughs> um, so I made, of course, I had to make five of these cards, and all of them are exactly the same. Um, I covered it with the Prima uh, paper. Um, I stamped, this is Delusions um, stamp set. So I stamped that and put, cover, you know, put it on the front. I added one of my um, little cameos. I made it pink for Valentine's Day. Right here I added some trim um, and then some pearl bling. Right here is some I Am Roses. This is I Am Roses the Carnation and I Am Roses flowers or um, leaves. Then I um, use my Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch, the one with the, the big butterfly and then the two little tiny ones. So I use that one and I punched the butterfly out of vellum, uh, adhered it with glossy accents and then put a little pearl center for that one. So this is my finished card and of course um, I didn't package this with this one yet but this is how I, I packaged it very simple I just put it in a plastic bag uh, put some ribbon and a prima flower with that same um, pearl center so I just I made all of those so, here they are I have to finish this one. Okay, so that was for my scrap room swap. Then um, for your paper pantry, I'm in a stick pin swap. And um, my idea for my presentation for my stick pins were was this. As you can tell, I hand stit or mach mach machine stitched around the tag, and I tried to do it with the heart, but. You guys look at that. Oh my god, it looks so pathetic. Um, not that coordinated when it comes to <laughs> circles <laughs> or making the angle uh, sewing in such a small area. So I scrapped that idea. I still wanted to have the hand stitch look, so what I did was I just I hand stitched it myself and I think it turned out super cute. Um, let me move the camera back a little bit. Oops. Okay. So you guys, this is my uh, presentation, my and uh, I really like how it turned out. I love uh, the hand stitched look or stitching on projects. Um, so this is my stick pin actually. So the requirements for the stick pin was um, it had to have a heart, it had to have the word love, and had to be um, like Valentine colors. So let me just show you that. So I just put a felt heart and then the, the two beads or the 
silver bead, pink, and then the silver. And then this is actually a Stampin' Up uh, set. It's a stamp set with the little punch. And then I glossy accented that. So that's how I got the word love. And you need to make three sets of three. And so it just sticks back down in the heart. This is a felt heart that I cut out uh, with a Spellbinders. So yeah. I just put some uh, seam binding on the bottom, tied it, attached a button, and uh, put a little I Am Roses um, crochet flower at the top. So that is for my stick pin, you guys. Oop. Yeah. So that's my second swap. So I had to create three. So I'm really happy with how it turned out, like the whole presentation, because that in itself is another task to figure out how to package all these all this stuff. Okay, so for my last swap, you guys, um, I am in the embellishment grab bag swap. And it had, with that swap, they have like a whole list of things for people to choose from. Um, I you can choose one or you know max is three things to make so I personally chose um, stick pins uh, altered stick pin altered bottle cap and an altered file folder for my three things so here are my stick pins for that swap and you only had to do one but I, I just did two and those are the, the two stick pins that I made for the, that uh, part of the swap. So I made those stick pins. Same thing again, I just used the playing card and covered it uh, back and front. Wrapped some twine. That's a Martha Stewart Valentine stamp. And um, that's the front. So I used a lot of playing cards for my presentation. Okay, and this is how I packaged it. Same kind of style. So that's my packaging. And I had to make five of those. Okay, um, bottle caps. This was my first time altering, uh, or my second time altering, really altering a bottle cap. Probably my first time. I've done the bottle caps, but not in this this way. Like I've just glossy accented stuff and put the image, but this is the first time that I've actually added other things to it. So what I did was um, I found this image online. It's like a vintage image and I, um, you know, glossy accented that. I added um, two beads to the front. Gave it some bling. And then on the back I just um, punched some paper, adhered it, and then added another one of those um, I Am Roses crocheted flowers. And again, the playing card covered it front and back with Valentine paper. This is a um, a cutout from the from the collection. It's the Kane Company collection. So yeah, and I had to make five of those, you guys. So I made that one. Packaged it all the same as my previous two swaps. There's that one. Little doggy. This one is really cute as well. Angels with the heart. This one is really cute. Super cute. Two little boys. Or is it a boy and a girl? Boy and a girl, I think. And then this one. So, really like how those turn out. Um, so that's the bottle caps. And then the file folder. I had never done an altered file folder, so... This was my, what I came up with. I used one of those mini file folders or dividers. Um, I covered it with uh, that Kane Company paper. This is a Kane Company felt p um, embellishment. Um, and I added that. Things I love. Things I love about you. 
So I just put that there. I added some Hobby Lobby trim and some of that uh, bling. So yeah. And then I covered the back as well. Put a little cut it right there and another one of those felt um, heart embellishments. So that is my altered file folder. And um, I guess if you go to put it in a mini, they can, you know, um, punch some holes or whatnot on each side, maybe on this side, and to add it to their whatever project they're working on. Okay, so that was my file folders, and I just put these in plain bags because they look so pretty as it is. So, and five of those. So there are my swaps. Um, I also wanted to show you guys, this is my little book that I made. This is my little mini to keep track of all my swaps. Um, I will be limiting my swaps to maybe one or two per month because it's just, I go crazy you guys. I see stuff that I want to make and then I sign up and then it gets overwhelming. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going limit to limit myself to, to one, maybe two. Probably the embellishment swap and the chunky charm. That's it for me. But uh, anyways, this is my little book that I made. And um, just to keep track of my swaps, this is um, Thicker's. It's like jeans or corduroy or fabric ones. So it just says swaps. And then um, in the front I have like your paper pantry. And then I have mini album scraps. And that's where I do my chunky charm swap. And then I have the my scrap room. So those are the three main places that I do my swaps. So yeah, you guys, I just want to quickly show you that. Trying to keep a little more organized in the new year. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, um, I am also doing the 100 subby giveaway. So please uh, go to that video, leave a comment, enter your name for a chance to win. And... Uh, Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Bye.